Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're looking at some content around the game Meet Your Maker. It's the patch notes for 5-9-2023. So it happened today. I didn't think we were going to see a patch like this for a while. So as a player, as a base builder, I'm quite happy that we got it today. We got something timely. There was a few things that were going on with the game that needed to be fixed. And we, as a player base on Discord, had all, all me and a bunch of people that have actively been playing this game from day one have all been saying, we need something, we need something, we need something. And the problem with the developer is they never tell us. It's, it's like yelling into an empty canyon and not hearing even an echo come back. It seemed like they are completely clueless to messaging to the people that play their game so they just come out with these patch they, did, they didn't even let us know that it was coming they had they don't say anything the developer is so quiet with this game uh it would be almost like they were uh you know they're keeping secret hogwarts gold i mean it's like you know they don't want to like or or they've got the the 10 commandments buried in their basement that's how quiet and secret they seem to be and as for developing as a as a as a game developer, it's just the wrong way of doing things in this dang age, especially with all the means of communication. And when they do communicate, they use Twitter. Okay, I don't use Twitter. Most of the people that I, I know within my orbit have all gotten rid of Twitter. So to even use Twitter as your only way of notifying people <laughs> and moving, you know, it just it just it just seems really really silly. But with that said, here we are. They they did a patch today, and let's see. The traps uh, no longer detect raiders through corrosive cubes equipped with second wave mod. I had done a video on that, that people were, uh, they were basically using an exploit when they were doing this, and obviously, and there were people that, that chimed back, no, Tarkus, this is the way it's supposed to work, and it's like, no, it's not supposed to be. Why would it not work for phase one, and then it works for uh, second wave, that, that things can shoot through second wave cubes and see? It just made no sense whatsoever for those, those people that were saying, no, we're not exploiting. Well, it's clear you were, because they fixed it. That's what this first line is saying is, guys, you no longer can do this stupid, cheesy, you know, it was terrible uh, building strategy for people that were just using this uh, terribly in their bases. And every time that uh, I went into a base that was using this exploit, I reported the builder. I was like, no, they're exploiting. They, they've got you know, you got a second wave. You got all these cubes and they have all these uh, traps behind them that now can see me and I can't get to them and it was nonsense. So they fixed that. The harvester will no longer be killed at spawn by death piston traps placed next to the shipping station. Now this is the other thing that I said that was an exploit and people yelled at me, no targets, it's not an exploit. If I can do it, it's not an exploit. I'm like, dude, you're exploiting the system. If you're killing Harvey for with a piston and pistons are supposed to pause for Harvey and they were taking they were taking advantage of the mechanic that the game the map was firing up and the piston wasn't detecting Harvey there so the piston would fire Harvey would be dead and then the person doing your base had no idea where the path might be so yes it was an exploit and again they fixed it so I'm glad that they fixed it it will uh, it will also not be killed by a death pist piston when returning to the shipping station to deposit the harvesting uh, gen mat. So all in all, you can't do that anymore, you people that made crazy labyrinth. Because that's what they were doing. We were making a, a three-hour labyrinth, killing Harvey in the beginning. So you would have to go through and memorize all the labyrinth uh, because there was no Harvey to follow because they would kill him. All right, moving on. Plasma clouds from Plasma Sentinels traps equipped with the Plasma Cloud mod will now be visible for guests in co-op raids. Okay, so I guess maybe when they put people playing co-op, they weren't seeing the symbols on the blocks or that, or they didn't really, they weren't showing what the mods were because they know when you go in, you can see the mods that the trap has. Uh, okay. We have fixed an issue which caused a raider animations to break during uh, the revive sequence and co-op. Okay, great. All right, and I know they, there was some loadout issues because Dr. Darkspawn would uh, allow me to piggyback on his runs. 
and I he I was he's basically carrying me through maps. And there was so many times where he would complain that they won't let me change my loadout targets. I can't change my loadout. I, I don't know what's going on. I want a different loadout. So it looks like they fixed that. We have fixed an issue which caused players to be unable to equip uh, bio links in slots two and three after joining a co-op raid. We have fixed an issue which caused the Volt Launcher to revert to only having two bolts despite unlocking the second upgrade after joining a co-op raid. All right, fixed and fixed. Building. We have fixed an issue which caused outpost kill drops to be definitely refreshed by, by force closing the game after collecting the loot. Um, okay, so let me explain to you how this worked, and I knew that this was an issue. The, what happened was, is if you went in, let's say you went into the map, where, let's say you, I, for example, I had a map that had 100 kills. If I go into the map that had 100 kills, and I manually clean the map, cleaned it manually, and then hit the escape button, the, the Syntite, uh, the yellow token would calculate at that point. But then, if I did a control, uh, if I did an all F four and closed the game that way, and then went in back into the game and went to that base, it would still say I had a hundred kills. I could then go back into the base and clean it all up again, hit escape, let it calculate the yellow tokens, and do an all F four and leave. And I could do that over and over again. So you could do it. So basically. Um, I tested it a few times to see if it was true because somebody told it about me. I got like a thousand of the yellow tokens by just testing it three times by just doing that. But they fixed it. So we they have fixed. Uh, you won't be able to do that anymore. So I'm hoping that this also fixes when people drop out of your content with the all F4 nonsense or the task manager and dropping out through task manager by closing the game through task manager that as a builder will start getting credit because I'm thinking they're, they're, uh, they're accounting for the drops in a different way now. So I'm hoping that that is also fixed. So when people go into my content, die 50 times and do all F4 and drop out of the game that I still get credit as the builder. I'm hoping that, that this addresses that too. Deactivating and reactivating your outposts will no longer affect your outposts matchmaking priorities. Now this used to be something that I would do all the time because I, I would, someone told me, said, Tarkus, if you go into your, um, your outpost and, and, and deactivate it and then reactivate it and then leave and do it once an hour for each outpost, you'll get uh, more raiders. And that was totally true. I, once an hour, I had my Alexa telling me it's time to refresh your stuff. And, uh, and so I would just do it and I would go in, uh, disactivate it, reactivate it. And, and then, and then, and then, you know, Go back to the lobby, and then I notice I'd get more raiders. So that has been changed. It no longer affects your outpost matchmaking priorities. So they've changed the way the matchmaking has worked, which to me uh, is screwed up somehow because I have five bases up. They've been up since the patch, and I've only had one raider in one of my bases all day long. And so something's not working correctly with their matchmaking at this particular time. I don't know what it is or if there's just nobody wanted to play the game today. Or You would think that once a patch hits, everybody and their brother is going to come out of the woodwork and want to play the game because there's a patch, right? So you would think today was a pretty good day to have high volumes of people. Therefore, my bases should have seen activity. Well, I got one raider throughout all five of my outposts. And it's been, what, 10 hours? So whatever. Okay, so sanctuary. Okay, the purchase button will no, now be disabled if you do not have enough currency to purchase an item or upgrade in one of the advisor stations. Okay, that's cool. Uh, settings. We have moved the controller presets to the top of the controller setting page for ease of access. Okay. Accolade stream. Selecting an accolade can now be done by pressing the directional buttons on controllers or numbers on the keyboard. This should help prevent accidental acolyte skips observed on consoles. For mouse and keyboard players, we have not removed the ability to click on the acolyte you want to select. Good. Balancing changes. Ranking system. Raiders will no longer lose ranking points when abandoning a raid. Okay. It's no longer possible to receive less than zero ranking points as a raider or builder after a successful completing a raid or being raided. 
Breaking points earned in bronze and silver have been made significantly more um, lenient when considering raider deaths and slightly more in gold and master as well. So, okay. Uh, builders will now receive more ranking points for the first kill and an increase from 30 to 75 ranking points. Building ranking points loss has been reduced across all ranking tiers. All right. I don't do much with the ranking system. I don't really care about it. To be honest with you, it's not my, my stick. I play the game to build bases and have people run my content. I know ranking is an important thing for people, but to me, you know, that that's a part of the game that people can enjoy, and it seems like now they've they've balanced it. The prestige system and prestige requirements have been re reworked, making it far more achievable to prestige your uh, outposts, particularly if you get accolades. The number of prestige posts earned for rewarded accolades have been increased from 20 to 40. The amount of prestige points earned from raiders killed have been rebalanced to weigh the first kills more highly, but diminished more quickly. Okay, The prestige point requirements are now the same across all burial sites, and now are consistent from levels 5 through 10 rather than growing for each level. The new prestige point requirements are the follow. Prestige 2, 120, Prestige 3, 150, Prestige 4, 180, and Prestige 5, plus 200. Hardware. The cost in craft hardware has been increased slightly by five parts, and the new crafting costs are now the following. Well, I'm not going to read all those. They've increased. Player XP. More XP feats may be performed before the XP value starts to diminish, and the diminished rate has been reduced. All right. So all in all, it looks like they did a pretty good job patching the game. Again, going back to my original point, I just wish that the developers had more to say to us. And in, in the player base feels that we're being heard. A lot of the things they fixed here that they did fix, and I'm glad they fixed it, but it's been weeks weeks and to be honest with you i don't even know i didn't even know until today that we're getting a patch and i didn't even know until today that the devs were even hearing us tell us tell them that this stuff was broken you know some of this stuff was really broken especially being able to get in if you know as much of uh, the yellow tokens as you wanted by just refreshing your base with the alt four i mean we 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 known that would been broken and people were taking advantage of that we knew harvey was getting killed with the uh, pistons we would put our ticket in or would say this is broken but we never heard a thing and i guess this is their response i guess it's one of those things where you've got to tell them for weeks on weeks and weeks and then you're just going to get a response from them like this. You know, this is a patch. We did it. And by, by, but, you know, thank you. De developers, thank you for fixing a game that you, you know, charged me $40 for. I mean, this should have been fixed before now. And you need to be more forthcoming with information moving forward. Get off to Twitter and actually use other co content avenues. Maybe have your own Discord server. And give us information through that or join the Discord server that most people are already on uh, and help us out by giving us information there, right? All right, well, that's it. I just wanted to go over the, the notes with you folks, and I want to thank you for joining me. And this has been the Tarkus Zone.